Hi, I'm Desi, and I work for Worthington Libraries. Hi, I'm Meredith, and I also work for Worthington Libraries. And we're here to tell you all about Hoopla, a streaming service brought to you by the library. I sure am tired of reading and watching and listening to all the same old stuff. I wish the library lived at my place so I could pick out new things without even having to get out of my chair. Well, you know, the library kind of can be with you wherever you go. What? Tell me more. It's called Hoopla, and it's a streaming service you can use on your computer or mobile device with your library card. You can borrow and browse tons of great books, audiobooks, shows, and more, all for free. Okay, now I'm listening. Tell me how to get all of these magical free things. Well, it looks like you're on the computer, so we'll get to Hoopla from the library's website. It's www.worthingtonlibraries.org. If you were using your phone or a tablet, I'd have you install the Hoopla app instead. The app is available on Android and Apple devices. That makes sense. Hey, look, I'm already at www.worthingtonlibraries.org. Excellent. See the tab that says download? You're going to hover over that and click on digital resources A to Z. That way you can see all the amazing digital stuff the library offers, including Hoopla. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Oh, there's Hoopla. Click on go to Hoopla now to get to the streaming service. All right, go to Hoopla now. Oh, it looks like I might need to create an account. That's right. You'll need to use a library card and an email address. If you're signing up for a new account, you'll also need to make sure that you're using a Worthington library card number and an email address that has not been used on Hoopla before. Hmm. Well, what if I'm a kid and I don't have my own library card number and email address? You can ask your parent or a trusted adult in your household to help you with this part. Your parent may also want you to use Hoopla with their account instead of using your own, so it's always a good idea to ask first. Okay, well this is going to be the super secret part where I'm going to put in my email address, library card number, and password. Okay, I'm all logged in. Awesome! Let's look for some great things to check out. You can check out at least 20 items per month on your library card. Hmm, I like kids' books. How do I find those? That's easy. Just click on the word that says kids at the top of the screen on the right side. Oh, okay. And now I'll be able to see stuff just for kids. This is great. What next? Hover over the Browse option at the top. Look at all of the different categories you can search through. What do you want to look at today? Um, I want ebooks. Oh, wow. Look at all of these books I can read. Hmm. Do I have to wait in line for them? Nope. On Hoopla, there is never a wait list, so you can have your item right away. Go ahead and pick one. Hmm, okay. Um, I want this one. All right, I clicked on it. How do I check it out? Just click the borrow button underneath the picture of the book and you can start reading it right away. Oh, cool. Huh, this is really, really neat. Well, how long do I borrow stuff? Well, that's a great question. You can borrow different types of items for different amounts of time. You can borrow videos for up to three days, 
Music can be borrowed for seven days, and ebooks, e audiobooks, and comics can be borrowed for 21 days. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just hear you say that Hoopla has comics? Like, like graphic novels and stuff? That's right. Go up to the browse feature and click on comics to see what you get. All right, comics. Oh, wait, what? This is the best. Look at all of these comics and graphic novels. Hmm. I'm going to get this one. And let's see, you told me I click borrow. Hey, wait a minute. If I'm borrowing all this stuff, where does it go? Do I get a virtual bookshelf or something? Yes. Just go up to my Hoopla and click on currently borrowed. You can see all of your borrowed items from there. Oh, hey, look, there's the book I just got. And there's my Big Nate comic. I'm going to click on it. This is amazing. Oh, and look, there's even a little magnifying glass. Super cool, right? It is super cool. OK, um, wait, one last thing. What if I know the exact title of what I want to look for? Can I type it into the search bar here? Yes, but you might want to double check that you've got everything spelled correctly first. Hoopla is a stickler for good spelling. I'm going to search for Percy Jackson. I definitely know how to spell that. Oh, awesome. Hey, wait, do you think that Hoopla has stuff like, you think they'd have like Minecraft books or like Roblox books too? Why don't you search and find out? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so sold on this Hoopla thing. Plus, it looks like I can get movies and TV shows on here too if I want. But I have some questions. Does Hoopla only ever have the same titles every time I log in? Nope. Hoopla is always changing out what's available and adding in new things, just like Netflix and other streaming services. Well, does Hoopla have all the same stuff the library has? Hoopla has a lot of things that the library has, but not everything under the sun. And while Hoopla doesn't have everything the library has, it does have a lot of really great stuff. Mm, what if I borrow something I like, and then I want to borrow it again later on? Do I have to remember the title and the author? You can actually go up to my Hoopla at the top of the page and click on history. If you have your borrowing history turned on in your account settings, Hoopla will show you what you've checked out before. Oh, okay. Well, I have one final question. If I'm using my library card number to get all this stuff, do I have to like, return it to the library somehow? Nope. Hoopla does all of that for you. When your loan period ends on one of your checked out items, it gets returned automatically. I'm so excited. I can't wait to use Hoopla today. I'm so glad you're going to use Hoopla. We hope you love it as much as we do. Oh, and if you ever need help, don't forget that you can contact your friendly neighborhood librarian at ask at worthingtonlibraries.org with your questions. That's A-S-K at worthingtonlibraries, with an S, dot O-R-G. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful rest of your day.